Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, we're going to be creating this visual effect that you can see in front of you. Now, you can see that we can have a paragraph showing a lesser amount of text and you can click on view more to show the remaining or the entire text. And I'm going to show you how you can just toggle between it so you can create it and customize it as you want even the number of text that you want or how it starts off originally. It's a very easy tutorial and I hope you do enjoy it. Before we begin, make sure you do leave a like if you like this video and maybe even leave a comment giving me some feedback on how I can improve this channel. Let's get started. Welcome back everyone. Now, as you can see on the website, I've got some text. It's just some random, uh, it's a paragraph that I copied three times, just anything to make this work. And it has a white font just so that we can see it. And now we've also got a button over here that says click view more. Now at the moment, if I preview this, nothing will happen. You'll still be able to see the full text. But what we want to do or the objective of this video is that once you click preview, once you're looking at the live website, basically the text, uh, it, you're not seeing the entire text. You're only seeing like 50% of it or whatever amount we want. And when you click on view more, you're able to actually view the entire text. Now to do this, to, to achieve this, you need to be on dev mode. So make sure you go on dev mode. And for you, it might say turn on dev mode. Mine already because it's on, it just says turn off dev mode. But for you, just click it and you'll get options to all the options that I have basically. Now let's go ahead and open the editor. As you can see, I only added the text, which has a, an ID of text one and the button that has an ID of button one. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to be able to, uh, when this website runs, I don't want this entire text to show. We want it to be short. And then we want to give the user to increase it if they want to. So what I'll do is I'll expand this just so that you can have better <laughs> visibility. And what we will do is we'll say const for text is equal to, and I'll say it's equal to hashtag text one. In other words, all I'm saying is I'm assigning full text, this massive paragraph over here with all the text in it. And what I want to do is I want to create uh, a short text. So I want to say const short text or so the shorter version of this. And I'm going to say it's equal to, and this time we're not actually going to do this. All we'll do is we'll say full text dot sub dot sub. Oh, sorry. Here I need to say text and we're going to say dot sub string just like this inside of here i will be providing uh, a number of characters basically that we need to work with so i'll say 0 to 50 and what this means is that i want to start showing from character 0 which is exposing and then all the way to character 50 that's all i want this to have from the entire text so from the entire full text short text is going to have everything from 0 all the way to 50 which i think will be somewhere here now, as you increase this, you increase how much you see. As you increase this, you'll see when the start should be. And we're going to say plus dot dot dot, just three dots. Now, that's all we need to do at this stage. What we're going to be doing now is we are actually going to say, now that we have the short text, I want when someone runs this to start with the short text. So what I'll do is I will say dollar sign W bracket hashtag text one dot html is equal to and we are going to say uh, quotation marks and I'm going to say p just like this dollar sign and we're going to put another error just like this we're basically creating a tag Uh, this did not work, so let me see if it would work if I place it like this. And he will say short text, which is done that we created over here. For some reason, however, this is not working, so let me see why it's not working. I actually prepared it already, so let's just there we go um you need this <laughs> other comma basically um and what we will do now is we're going to create another variable and we'll say short 
switch. True. So all I'm doing here is basically I'm assigning this paragraph. Once the website loads, the first thing I'm doing is I'm saving the full text and then I'm creating another constant or another variable with, with the short text. So only showing from zero to 50. After that, I'm changing what this shows to be the short text, which we saved earlier. And I'm also creating another variable. This one is just a variable, so it changes. And saying that right now we're showing uh, the short um, paragraph, basically. So if I preview this, if we did everything correctly, this should be now showing like a shorter version of the text. So you can see exposing your website has an API, uh, as an API opens a world. There we go. So it cut it to 50. So it cut it all the way up to here. If we increase this to, let's say, um, 200 and actually I just realized let's change this to a white background and we'll change the text here to black because I realized we need to provide uh, full HTML with the new styling for now so like this all right now so if I click on preview you'll see that it did actually reduce it from zero all the way to 200 characters but our button at the moment doesn't do anything. So it doesn't matter how many times I click on it, nothing happens, it still stays the same. So let's go ahead and change that and actually add that feature that we want. So we, we know that this works. Now let's go ahead and edit this. So I want it to be so that once the button is clicked, so I'll say dollar sign, hashtag and button one, we're going to say on click, we're going to open a bracket and then another bracket inside of here. I'll say I'll do this. And now anything inside of these two brackets inside what I'm highlighting here, whenever that button is clicked, it will run. So what we want to do now is that we want to show the full uh, uh, text basically. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to say first I'll check is that show is the switch on. So are we showing the show? Uh, text now so I'll say if short switch so that means if short switch is true then what I want to do is I want to show less So I'll say equal to, and I'll say full text. So basically if this is on, that means we're already showing the short text. So what I want to do is I want to, if someone clicks on this, I want to show the full text now. And for the button, I wanted to say view less and we want to change the switch to false because that means we're now showing the full thing. So we're going to say short switch is equal to false. Amazing. Now, what if we're already showing the full text? Now, what we want to do is we want to reverse the entire thing. So what I'll do is I'll say again, let's actually, we can just copy this and do the opposite. So here for the text, we can say short text. For here, we can say view more. And for this one, we can say true. All right, now this is always the scariest part for me because I don't know if it will work or not, but we can preview and let's have a look and see if this works or not. So we can see that we're starting off with smaller text. If I click view more, you can see a, we now have the full text, which is great. And also this changed the view less and we can just toggle backwards and forwards with the entire thing basically. So I think we managed to do this. Um, thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you did enjoy it. Please make sure you do leave a like, leave a subscribe <laughs> for me and make sure you comment if you have any improvements or any feedback that I can do, whether it's to the 
audio or visual or even just the way I'm explaining things and I'll make sure I read the feedback and improve on it. Thanks so much and I hope to see you in the next episode.